guys, if you told me at the start of this year that we would be where we are right now, I would not believe you. But this year has been a roller coaster. <coughs> Apart from all the awesome friends we made, the incredible road trips across continents, we also had lots of lows. So if you've been with us for a while, you'll know that our van got broken into and we got all our stuff robbed. Yeah, we've came back and they've smashed our van and it's been completely ransacked. They came back. Yeah. We've had numerous breakdowns. Oh Lord. And then just before we came to Japan, our van caught fire. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Needless to say, we needed a break from van life, guys. But now, the time has come to get back in a van. Not Martha, but a van. Guys, we're back in Tokyo. <laughs> Don't worry, I know what you're thinking. We're not gonna show you any more city stuff. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We've got something so much more exciting planned. We're here to pick up something which we are ridiculously pumped about, uh, but we're running late. Yeah, we need to go like right now. Like right now. You know, it's culturally appropriate in Japan to be on time. Yeah. And we're currently like 10 minutes late. So, 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 so. I can't so. get my bag on, I'm just too hyper. Hurry, Kitty. We gotta go. You're going the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> Usually I make Philly get it, but he's carrying three bags and like we said, we're running late. <laughs> right now, I mean, even though Philly's wearing three bags and I'm only wearing one, Camel. this is the last time we're going to be carting these bags about whoop, whoop, whoop. for like three weeks. And why is that? Because we are returning to Van Nuys. Come on. Yeah. That's right. We've been waiting out the past month for Martha to arrive in a shipping container. Uh, no, she hasn't. No, guys, Martha is tucked up safely in Romania. We have got ourselves hooked up with a Japanese camper van. We're super pumped to go check it out. But the truth is, guys, uh, we're not really sure what van we're getting. Because we were just like, we'll just take anything. We just want to make sure we get a van. And it's here. We're, that thing? Yeah. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Here it is. Van life, Japan starts here. But I, I think I see the van that we're getting. I think I see it too. And if that's it, Philly, it's friggin' big. It looks it's like a massive. bus. It's massive. <laughs> Shit, it's big. <laughs> Do you think that's it? Yes, that's Alan. That's the one. That's the one we see in the picture. Wow! <laughs> awesome. I'm in. <laughs> it looks sick. <laughs> um, um. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, this is Alan. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. I mean, I don't know if this is it. We're going to go in and he's going to be like, is this Fiat Punto? But um, if this is it, it's basically like a little micro RV or something, isn't it? It's like super cute. Alan, you look great. Oh, hello. Thank you, thank you so much. This is This is the shift. Yeah. And then petrol. And then drive. Right. And then I can move. Okay, fine. So, uh, <laughs> see the, uh... Guys, it's an automatic. It's more luxury than Martha. I'll open this cover. This is good. Oh, wow. Okay. That's so much space. Wow. Yeah. See, this is good. And uh, you can use the... Uh... Okay, guys, so... <laughs> uh, the battery died, so you kind of missed that excitement there, but, um... We're here. We're, we're in the van. I've just turned on Lemian Road and realized very quickly that I don't even know, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've never drove in Japan before. Yeah, we were like, is it is it right hand drive? Oh, you know? Yeah, that's one one thing I quickly noticed that it's right hand drive, so it's the same as home, which is actually confusing because we're used yeah, to Europe. Because we're used to Europe, so we're used to actually driving left hand drive on the left, oh sorry, right hand drive on the left side of the road. Yeah, no, I don't know what I'm saying. This is exciting. This is very exciting. Like guys, like like we're driving in Japan. Like like look this in Japan. I mean, it's just like a classic mini camper van, isn't it? It ain't no like big fancy RV. It's like just a retro feeling camper. Yeah. You know, it just feels cool. It feels like something like my parents would have had when I was a kid. It's just, you know, it's perfect. It is so good. It's actually just perfect. It's just what I wanted. Yeah. It's just what we needed, you know? Especially going into winter. I'm glad we've got like 
a van with a diesel heater and all because there was part of me that didn't know what we were going to be getting. Obviously, because we're going to be in this bad boy for three weeks, we've got to get those aesthetic vibes going, guys. I want to get myself a nice little blanket. We need some candles. We also need a coffee pot. Okay, so now you know that we need a coffee pot, blankets and candles. Where do you think we are going to go to get such things? Make your guesses now throughout this driving montage. Oh, my arm. And then we'll, we'll, we'll see in a then second. Then you'll see where we are. Okay, so before we tell people where we are, how was that first driving experience? We got lost. <laughs> we, we took a wrong turn. But guys, hear me out. I don't think it was my fault. There was like six roads, like quadruple stacked. They were going all everywhere, like spaghetti junction. And plus, I was your navigator. And you were also, no, but like it's a joint effort here. It's a joint Aww, effort. Oh, thanks, honey. So let's see if you guys guessed it right. This van is definitely made for Japanese people. <laughs> this is our home for the next three weeks. It looks so cute. Ikea! I'm kind of hoping that it has the vegan meatballs. Oh, well, I was going to say that too. <laughs> so we need to get all our stuff. But also got to check for the vegan meatballs. Yeah, Really wants a plant. This is what she wants. Obviously. And this is what I want. Obviously. No. Get that big monstrosity out of my face. <laughs> That's perfect. That <laughs> yeah, as with any trip to IKEA, you randomly lose three yards of your life. Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, I know that you're all thinking, Keely, you're a little bit extra making Philly buy blankets and stuff. Thank you. I want it to feel like home. I want to have all these like cozy vibes. Just, we're in this for like three weeks. Plus, what's guys. The, what's the excuse for the tin of biscuits? Um. Christmas vibes. We're in this van during the Christmas season. And the fried onions. That's just for What food. a combo. Speaking of fried onions, we desperately need to go do one of food shop to, oh yeah, my plant. Also, we need to get like, what do you call them? Bin bags and stuff like that. It's also getting super dark. Um, so yeah, and we don't, we don't know where we're staying tonight. We're in a van in Japan. How cool is that? We're in a van. I have to pinch myself. Well, welcome to Alan. <laughs> Alan oh, yes, guys, Alan, <laughs> Alan, guys, you know, oh, we've well. got a couple of weeks to get acquainted. Yeah, I mean, we have no idea what we're doing right now. We're both absolute zombies, knackered from that night bus. We've only just stocked up on some supplies. I'm not even fully sure what we've got because we're so tired. <laughs> but uh, we're by the beach and there's other camper vans. And we're in Japan in a van and it's just like <laughs> We're pretty excited. We're we're just hoping to get back to a bit of a slower pace. Yeah, I'm yeah. super pumped to see more rural Japan. But we're gonna to talk to you about all of that, about the parking situation, about what our plans are. We'll give you a mini tour. In the morning. Yeah. Cause in the cause morning. cause cause right now I'm I'm tired. Yes. Guys, that's our bed. Ew, that's my finger. I was trying to tell them that the bed's above the cab. The bed is above the cab. I don't know what people have seen. Our battery ran out earlier. We're tired. <sighs> we'll show you probably tomorrow, guys. Right now, we're going to get some sleep. I'll just sit and let you. Oh, there's somebody here. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, my God, that'd be so great. That'd be like a Japanese horror oh, movie. It's cold up here. <laughs> Hey. Look at your little tree house. Look at this, I feel like one. Okay, my feet touch the roof, so, you're, so you won't even be able to move <laughs> your legs. But yeah, I feel like I'm on some little adventure. It's, all right, before we go to bed, 
well, I'll give you a quick 360 tour. Here it is. Here's a table. Here's storage area. Here's a sink. Here's a bench. Um, here's the cab. Here's Keely. Yeah. Good night. Night. <laughs> Actually, if you want it, you have to get out. I was about to say that I'm the best husband ever, but okay. Come get your coffee. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I just wanted to throw it there. I'm not sure I'm mentally ready for this. I don't think anybody is. Graceful. <laughs> That's the side first thing in the morning. <laughs> Here you go, Kevin. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? From a van in Japan. <laughs> Sleep. I feel like I slept so well. I slept like a log. This was the best, <laughs> best night's sleep I've had in Japan. Actually, <laughs> probably even the month prior to Japan as well. Through the night, it was dead. Mm -hmm. And in hostels and stuff, the walls are paper thin. You're beside busy roads. This was. Yeah, I slept for ten hours straight. Yeah, me too. So good. <laughs> I can see the sea out our window. Yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring this area. Okay, first things first. Let's make the bed. Uh, that's your job. <laughs> Look how easy this is. Check it out. This is how easy it is to make our bed. Done. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Breakfast. Oh my god! I forgot that that we've got like our own kitchen and stuff to make breakfast. I'm so used to having to go out and find breakfast. I don't have to find a breakfast anymore. It's right here. Oh man, that's These quality that's of life good. upgrades. That's we good. can make our own breakfast. That's good guys. I, I even put on overnight oats last night. Oh yeah. Life's, life's good. Okay, so we have packed on everything in the back tidied up, organized ourselves. I thought I'd let you guys see where we slept last night. There is these rest stations like everywhere. They have facilities, there's 24 hour toilets. So we'll probably end up staying at these quite a lot because we're gonna need the facilities, guys. So rest stations are just for sleeping though. We're heading somewhere fun. <laughs> what was that noise? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, gee. Um, we've got some fun stuff planned today, so we're gonna hit the road. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah. Ah! Road trip, baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's everything. Guys, I've missed it so much! Yeah, guys. <laughs> We're also like the masters of like pack down and van life. Anyway, after three years, the guy was proper surprised we lived in a van full time. He's like, no house. <laughs> yeah, no. House and van. And no, just no, van. Just van. <laughs> Look at this! Smell that ocean air! <laughs> oh my goodness, you're too big for this van! <laughs> guys, he's too big for this van! As you know guys, I'm 6'4". Oh so trying goodness. to squeeze myself into a little Japanese camper is a little, it's a little bit tight. Okay, Philly is like just shy of six foot. What? So if... News to me? If... <laughs> and he barely... Don't hide shame me, bro. He barely fits in his van. So if you are six four out there, you will struggle to function in a Japanese <laughs> camper van. I'm just saying. I also need a second coffee. Maybe need more of a snack. But guys, you it's you okay can't. because we've got our kitchen with us. We've got everything with us. We can change into our swimmers in the van. Like we've got a van. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> let's go. Okay, let us go right now. Let's go. Bye. All right, change of plans. Somebody didn't eat all of their overnight oats this morning, so is now hungry. Yeah. We didn't even make it half an hour up the road before you were like, I'm hungry. I need another coffee. You you were were to oh my goodness. Am I wrong? Did you just slappy. slow blink? I'm slappy, so I'm gonna make feed and you're gonna shut up. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> so as you can see with this worktop, there is no hob. 
Uh, I think you can rent off the Tokyo RV, you can rent a uh, gas hob thing. But we already brought our little camping stove with us, so we just stopped and get some, got some gas. Yeah. So, we came prepared. We did, but it means that we only have one burner to cook everything in this van in for the next three weeks. Well, so show me, show me your skills, your I'll, culinary I'll skills. You. Oh baby, that looks good! <laughs> the rain has also started. I feel like this might end up being like a cozy van day at this rate. Rainy day vibe. Not bad for a little gas stove, eh? Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I don't know, I have to taste it. <laughs> Thank you so much. No I'm very thankful for, you, for your culinary skills. Um, once you taste how burnt the bottom of the pan was, you might not be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> So we ate our food and we drove for an hour across to the other side of this little peninsula and we've parked up in a car park in another spot. Look at her, she's got the candles lit. I don't know if, I don't know what she's expecting. Hello. Look at you with your candles lit. Look at look at Alan and all his glory. So far Alan has handled everything like a charm. We've driven like over 200 kilometers already. Um, and it seems good. Yeah, it's been good. Oh, I near burnt myself. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, Alan's doing pretty good. Uh, but don't worry, Martha is safe. I've had a few people message me about Martha. She is good. She's still being looked after by the guy at the airport in Romania. He's keeping our plants alive. Uh, it's it's pretty good, guys. We know she's okay. What more do you want? I'm very excited about the plants. I told me to get a massive shout out on YouTube if our plants are still alive. <laughs> so he's got about three more weeks before we come back and see. <laughs> but now let's uh, eat leftovers. Okay guys, we're up but not really quite so bright and early because there's a big storm last night so the van was a rockin'. <laughs> but we've got our little tickets to this onsen. I think we're gonna have views out to the sea. Philly's gonna go in with the guys and have a little sausage party because I think there's someone in there and I'm gonna be like chilling all alone. I am alone. Not gonna lie, I feel very weird that I'm fully naked. I'm not even sure if you're meant to be naked for this. Hello? Are you alone? Are you naked? Me too. <laughs> um, okay, I'll let, I'll, let, I'll, I'll let you guys see my view. Oh, my God, I feel so good. Well, that was definitely needed. My bones and my joints are thanking me right now. Uh, Kaylee's still up there, so I'm gonna make her a second coffee because I know she'll appreciate that. You're back. Um, do you know that I got out of it after about 15 minutes and that I was just standing there in the nip tech in the view waiting for you to tell me you left? And then I was like, been quite a while, I'm just gonna tell him I'm gonna go make coffee. And I was like, Billy, no response. Billy, no response. Get dressed, come outside, stand outside the men's van go, Billy, can I have the keys? And <laughs> you're not. You're already out here. The whole time I was just sitting there like, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm ready to go down for coffee, but I'll wait for Philly because he's obviously really enjoying it with his little Japanese friend. That wee old man came in and was chatting to me about like where we're going to in Japan. And then uh, like he got out and like I got about 10, about 10 minutes after him. Uh -huh. and came down and he was standing outside his car and he's like, I have a present for you, I have, here's, I have a gift, I have a gift. And he gave me these leaflets. It's all about onsens and hot springs. Oh my word, like, that's look at so this. cute. This is the region we want to go to. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so nice. Japanese people are just so lovely, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I'm loving it, man. It's very cool. I'm glad. Coffee? Yeah.
Look at that mane. Look at that, that delicious mane. mane. Guys, we're in such a great mood. We just took the drone up for the first time because we were like, this is so beautiful. I'm going to do it. And oh my word, Japan is beautiful. I just cannot wait to capture this as we head off into the wilderness. And Even up on north. a dull, cloudy day. It's just beautiful. I can't wait, man. I'm so pumped to bring you guys along. Now we're going to go for a coastal walk, like a hike up here. Oh man, I'm feeling good. And guys, look at this spot. It's beautiful. Bye, Alan. Stay safe. We'll miss you. <laughs> You're right there, kid, after two steps. My butt hurts and my heart. <laughs> I thought this was like Brighton, you know, where it's like a leisurely stroll along the flat cliff tops. Didn't know this would be involved. On you go. You okay back there? Such a struggle, man. <laughs> didn't expect this, did you? I really didn't expect it. And every corner there's just more. <laughs> like more. It never stops. In the city, we went from doing at least 10 to 15 kilometers a day to the past two days in the van, less than a kilometer. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> it has been. It's been it's been a nice change. But yeah, we definitely need to keep up some level of fitness. Come on, Keely. Ten more steps. Honestly, Phil, this isn't a joke. I feel like Rocky right now. Oh, no! Yeah, final step, final step. <laughs> it's hard, man. It's better be beautiful. I mean, look at it. Of course it's beautiful. Oh! This is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> You're right, you de-layered already. I'm roasting. Guys, Looking out at this, right, I had no idea Japan had such a stunningly rugged, beautiful coast. When somebody says like Japan and travel and tourism to you, like what pops into your brain? Let me know down in the comments because the truth is for me, I think about like Tokyo, big cities, shrines, sumo wrestlers. That's kind of like the stereotypical things that come to my mind. I do not think about thousands of kilometers of stunning coastline. I don't think about Japanese Alps and rivers and gorges, but that's what we're about to experience, guys. We're planning to go right into the Japanese Alps, all up through the center, all the way back down the East Coast. And I'm just so pumped to bring you guys along because this part of Japan that we don't really know about is breathtaking, seriously. Literally because I'm about to faint from fatigue. <laughs> And I'm just gonna, you know, nap now, okay? Yeah. Well done. You conquered those 70 steps. I was more than 70. Guys, it's 700. 100 meters. The van's just at the bottom of that hill. Sure, sure. It's not. It's all the way around there multiple times. Yeah, yeah. Look at those rocks, man. They're beautiful. Did you see those trees? It's a winter wonderland! Oh my god, have people seen the trees? As far as you can see, there's snowy trees! Looks like a monkey's walking by the river. 